Hey guys, today I wanted to make a berries and cream soap. As you'll see towards the end of the video, it didn't go exactly as planned, but I still wanted to show you what exactly happened and maybe in the future I'll be able to try this again with a different fragrance oil and not have so many problems. All right, so I started out by mixing the lye water and the oils just until everything was blended together. Then I separated everything into three equal portions. I wanted to make like a dark purple color, a light pink color, and then white for the cream. For the purple, I used a purple mica and I ended up having to add a little bit more than I originally planned just to get the color that I wanted. But eventually I got there. Next I used pink mica to make the pink color. Once I was happy with the pink and purple colors, I went ahead and added the fragrance oil. And this is where things started going downhill. Since I'm still pretty new to soap making, sometimes I get a little panicked and start rushing through things because either the soap is thickening up or some color is changing. So when I was first making this, I didn't really realize that the color was changing, but once I watch back the video, you can clearly see the purple and the pink start turning orange, which was not my plan at all, but that's okay. I learned that I will not be using that fragrance oil again. First, I added the purple to the bottom. Next, I added the pink or orange, whatever you want to call it now, color on top of the purple. Once I got the pink and the purple into the mold, I went ahead and added some titanium dioxide to the rest of the mixture that I separately made, or the cream for the top. I didn't want the cream part to be completely flat. I wanted it to have I wanted it to have some texture, so I just used one of the pipettes um, to add some swirls to the top. Next, I added these um, pretty cool embeds that I made earlier. I made some raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. I was pretty excited to unmold the soap because the top looks really pretty, it smells really good, um, but little did I know that it was going to be horrible. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, when I first unmolded it, I was pretty disappointed. This was definitely not what I was expecting, but I mean, it's still usable soap and it smells pretty good. 
I'm still new at soap making, so I know that not everything's gonna be perfect, but at least I learned something, and maybe in the future I'll try to make this type of soap again, but with definitely a different fragrance oil. If you guys like this video, don't forget to follow me on social media, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe.